So all that big willy talk, hop you up, playing yourself, yo, playing yourself, yo, playing yourself. I don't play. Well, I guess we gotta give it to Taylor Swift. Damn. Not because I actually think she intended to play herself or she was doing something malicious. Most but people come on, son. When you're trying come to come on, son. You know Beyonce's out here owning the marching band look right now. <laughs> You can't show up on national television with a marching band and not be like, yo, what you trying to... Now, if we all recall, remember the whole Kanye West MTV incident was over Beyonce as well. back then. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking Because of. Taylor Swift got an award and beat Beyonce and Kanye was like, I'm going to let y'all finish, but well, that was the Beyonce is the greatest thing y'all ever seen in your life. That was the first time Taylor Swift was unfairly destroyed for no reason. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> over Beyonce. And guess what? This is like the ninth. So just goes <laughs> like that over and over. Congratulations. Yeah. You played yourself. Damn, Taylor, Never damn. Ends. Laura, what you got? So... <sighs> In Jersey, at this Jersey Shore amusement park, they decided to use these test dummies to, you know, oh, try out the sorry. safety of a roller coaster, right? Good. Well, you should test things out and make sure everything's working safely. Ah, so yes. when the patrons start coming this summer, That's right. you know that they are safe. Well, right. the, the test dummies uh, flew out and fell on top of this hotel and caused major damage. Congratulations. You so played yourself. It turns out that the um, operators strapped, they were like water-filled figures. Yeah. And like... One of them, like, got a leak, so it slipped out it. But they're like, obviously, it's not something that would ever happen with a real person in it. <laughs> Fam, I'm not going anywhere near Bruh. those roller coasters. What Bruh. are you talking about? Congratulations. You the dummies yourself. went flying and then to slamming the into a, yes, wait, 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 into a wait, wait, wait. hotel. How many, how, multiple dummies went? Well, they strapped a couple of them, but I, I, I think. They all like, had leaks? They call them bad leaks, but listen, one is one too many, okay? Well, the reality is, uh, uh, I think uh, a test dummy is, uh, um, it's, it's not like a human. It's just kind of like it's going to flop around more than a human is. But you should be strapped but this is, tight. But, well, nope. the problem is, what person after seeing a test dummy fly off a roller coaster is going to be like, you know what? I want to ride that ride. Congratulations. You played you yourself. You know what? It's a dummy. It's not going to happen to a real person in real life. It's sure, I'll take my chances. <laughs> there are some dummies. Rosenberg. Congratulations. You played yourself. What's on your list, fam? Um, apparently... There are some angry Knicks fans who feel that he is spending too much time with his band and not enough time in the Bro. MSG boardroom. Bro, it's deeper than that. It's not Knicks fans. It's These are people who are stakeholders, shareholders in MSG. People who are on the board with him. Other millionaires. These are people who are at his level that are like, yo, my God. Well, no one's at his level. Be clear. He's the chief. They're at a level enough to bring a lawsuit. Filed on behalf of his shareholders. Damn. Yo, that's crazy. I mean, those are the people. This isn't just a regular complaint on so, Twitter. You know, when I when this when this tweet came in from John Ito yesterday, I assumed st stupidly that this was just fans. Shareholders decided he's spending too much time with his band, JD and the Straight Shot. Now, before we go judging, I think we should listen to some of his music and see whether it's really worth the congratulations. Tell you what you see. Congratulations. <laughs> He should sell the Knicks and pursue his career. I think so. I think so, and I can tell by the way he writes music. If he wrote that song, that that's how he's uh, handling the Knicks too. Life is just a free ride. You just <laughs> jump on and yeah. hang out for whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> what are you saying, bro? Then your hair, you don't care. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, Yo, that's terrible. Well, the, uh, the 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 staff, the team, the spokespeople for the MSG responded and said this is just uh, harassment. This lawsuit means nothing. They're not taking it serious. Frivolous. Do you know that his band has opened up at the Garden for major acts? Like, huge acts. They opened up for, like, the Eagles. Yo. No, they opened up for the Eagles. That's not a conflict of interest. Wow. At the Garden <laughs> in front of 20,000 people. The owner of the Garden's like, I'm going to let you guys hear my little band real quick. Congratulations. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? 
Don't let Drizzy get away. Oh, Don't let I wasn't, Drizzy I wasn't, get I away. I wasn't. I wasn't. But it needed its own. Oh, you want to put moment. the bow on it first? Well, the amazing Drake broke records. Yes, he broke did. records. He the- got twelve awards. He had an amazing speech where he shouted out our show. You no, know, that's not true. But he, here's no. the one thing: the one person who had the most amazing week in the world, we all know, is Arya Stark. Well, you got to wait for it. You got to give context because Drake obviously is now known to basically be. Everyone knows. You think everybody co- yes. has no. completely well, accepted? If, if you if, if you follow the internet mm-hmm. at all and you know things about like um, Taylor Swift getting dragged on the internet, you've seen Drake get dragged for cursing teams. Well, explain what the Drake curse is. Everything he touches and roots for turns to dust. <laughs> Everything. Whether Serena it's Williams, the Raptors. Uh, he meets soccer players. Fail. The next day, their team gets crushed. Right. But it's uh, to the point where the soccer Maple teams Leafs. don't want, are banning their players from taking photos about with this? them. this? I spoke to somebody in Toronto, and it's a real thing in the city where the Toronto Maple Leafs are like, yo, my man, take off the jersey. Oh. No, no. Yes. And he was serious. This is somebody who lives there, grew up there, is a huge basketball fan, and is like, oh, the fan base is like 50-50 on Drake. Everybody's kind of feeling like, yo, my man. Fall back. Now, here's the concern. The, the, the other day on the internet, and by the way, sorry guys, it's been five days, so there's going to be a spoiler right here. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, you're whack. I'm about to say something. When the Night King bites it, the internet meme that came out was of Drake wearing a shirt with the Night King's face well, it on it. was the Make Believe jersey, but they took off the logo and, and put, put on, on the Night King. That's right. And so it was hilarious. Like, ha ha, look, everyone Drake roots for dies. So then Drake yesterday does this. Shout out to Arya Stark for putting in that work last week. Hey. As he exits his speech at the Bill no. Bill. Congratulations. Oh. He plays his song. Arya Stark is officially in danger. Oh, no. We don't know I what's going to happen this week. Like- Damn it! But Arya Drake. Stark is officially in danger, and it's the same week that they officially launched the Arya Stark. You guys seen the, the Arya Stark Char- challenge? The Arya. You know about the Arya? I thought it's called the Arya challenge. It's just the Arya where people are going like this, and they dropping it and well, then stabbing. Oh, oh for one, Ebro. Ebro tried to do it with the pen. He dropped his pen and guess congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself.